A South Africa anti-apathide icon, Archbishop Desmond Tutu, described as the country's moral compass, died on Sunday at the age of 90, sparking an outpouring of tributes for the outspoken Nobel Peace Prize winner. Details in this report. The raison d'etre for this commission is opening wounds, cleansing them so that they do not fester and saying we have dealt with our past as effectively as we could. We have not denied it. We have looked the beast in the eye. Archbishop Desmond Mpilo Tutu, born in Kirkstop, Transvaal, on 7 October 1931 in South Africa, was a strong voice against apartheid in South Africa. In the transition to democracy, Tutu was an influential figure promoting the concept of forgiveness and reconciliation. He was recognized as the moral conscience of South Africa as he frequently lent his voice to issues of justice and peace. After the passage of apartheid Bantu Education Act in 1953, Tutu resigned from teaching in protest at the diminished opportunities for black South Africans. He continued to study, concentrating on theology in 1955, he married Namalizu Lia Shenzane. They had four children together, and in 1961, he was ordained an Anglican priest. Tutu moved to England in 1962, where he studied at King's College, London, and gained a master's degree in theology. He also became a part-time curate in St. Albans and Golders Green. Five years after he returned to South Africa, and became increasingly involved in the anti apartheid movement. He was influenced, among others, by fellow Anglican Bishop Trevor Huddleston. Tutu's understanding of the Gospels and his Christian faith meant he felt compelled to take a stand and speak out against injustice. O oh, Holy Spirit, calm the turmoil within. In 1976, there were increasing levels of protest by black South Africans against apartheid, especially in Soweto. In one of his speeches, Tutu said, far too often people think of themselves as just individuals separated from one another, whereas we are connected and what we do affects the whole world. When you do well, it spreads out. It is for the whole of humanity, according to him. In his position as a leading member of the clergy, Desmond Tutu used his influence to speak firmly and unequivocally against apartheid, often comparing it to fascist regimes. One of his favorite words in bringing people together was Ubuntu, meaning I am because we are. May he so rest in peace and joining us live on the news to talk about Archbishop Desmond Tutu, his life and times and struggle against appetite as the former head of the South African Council of Churches, Reverend Frank Chikane, Reverend. Our condolence, sir. Thank you very much and thank you for all the condolences from the international community, including the Nigeria. Okay, and Reverend, your thoughts on his passing and legacy he leaves behind. Um, what a day, what can you speak of this great legend that just passed? Well, you know, I was shocked this morning, like all of us were shocked. And I would like to express condolences to Mama Leah and the children, family. But I must say that, I mean, Archbishop Desmond Tutu, has been a prophet amongst us and he lived amongst us stood for the truth stood for justice here in south africa and internationally and he did it without fear believing what he believed that god is a god of justice and i think instead of mourning him we should actually celebrate his life. And that's the call I've made here in South Africa uh, to say that let's celebrate his life because he played an important role in, the, in our lives in getting rid of the apartheid system 
in South Africa and, and, and took risks. I mean, he used to stand in between bulldozers and victims of the apartheid system, which was forcefully removing them from their homes. Uh, he used to stand in between angry mobs who were angry about apartheid and wanted to kill people. He is the example of what God's justice is about. Okay, uh, well spoken of um, the late legend. So uh, what are South Africans going to miss about him? Because when we hear him speak, he is not a selfish person. He's very, very selfless. So what are those things that South Africans will really miss about him? Well, you know, we will we'll miss his love will miss his laughter. You know, he used, even at the worst moments, he would uh, laugh, but we will miss also his solidarity with victims of society here in South Africa and internationally. I mean, he has taken on causes of justice internationally. But, you know, fortunately, with modern technology, we can still listen to him we can still um, um, listen to the, receive the messages that he sent to us. And we can repeat what he has said. And nobody can say, I have forgotten and I don't know. I, I know you've seen from this morning that, you know, all his history has come up in a big way. And that, to me, will remain a permanent witness amongst us. So... He's not gone. He's with us. Oh, thank you so much, Reverend. Uh, we want to say here in Plus TV, we, we sympathize with South Africans on this great loss. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. God bless you. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.